Hi everyone, it's um, I don't even know what time it's noon, it's like 12 something right now. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Thursday, and um, and I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who subscribe to my channel or are coming back. Um, I this is all new to me to be doing like YouTube and stuff. I get really like uh, nervous and self-conscious every time I post a video because I'm always thinking like, oh my gosh, like what if I get some negative comments? What if I, <sighs> but if this is something I want to do, I literally just have to not care about any type of negative uh, comment and um, that's being said to me or things like that. And I honestly have to not care because this is me, this is who I am. I'm showing you guys the real me. I'm not gonna be fake about anything. And um, if you guys hear my kids yelling in the back or you guys see it dirty or something, because this is this is our home. This is how, uh, how it is. Even with stained shirts, this is how it is. Like I'm not gonna wake up glamorous and um, I'm not gonna have uh, my kids wearing suit and tie and little dresses in the mornings and you know, eating what? the best breakfast with fruits and vegetables like super early and people talking about that's not healthy to be feeding your kid. You know what, my kids are fed. My kids, um, they have each other we all have each other to play with. We have a roof over our head. We have clothes on our back and uh, we're all healthy. <laughs> we're all here together. So, yes. You should take a picture of our whole entire family. Like our grandma, Diaz, cousins. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to get everybody, call everybody to come at this time so we can all take a picture together. <laughs> Uh, no, if you follow me, you will eventually see everybody. Um, yeah, I think I know. I just... But anyways, um, I wanted to post this to talk a little bit about myself. Mom! Uh, it's so hard for me to ever, like, have any type of conversation, Ready? even if it's just by myself with a camera. Because <laughs> the kids are always, like, super excited and want to do the same thing that I'm doing or whatever. I'm hardly ever by myself, you guys. Like, I'm always with the kids. Always with the kids. Uh, right now, they're on spring break, so they're here the whole time. And um, <laughs> and they go back on Those Monday. Ladies, they were off for two weeks. So, um, I do like spring break and any breaks I get. What I like about it is that I don't have to wake up super early in the morning because I don't have to take anybody to school and I don't have to wake up to make lunches. Um, for school and get the kids ready and um, all of that running around oh, Maddie, when you but I also miss it because I do need a little break because when they're at school it is a little bit more quiet here at home because it's just this Brady that's here with life. me um, but Maddie, what, it is what it is they go back on Monday and it's, uh, Maddie, it's a good and a bad thing for me <laughs> But anyways, I love my kids. I honestly do. I just need like some time for myself sometimes, which I can have it like in the in the evening when uh, my boyfriend comes home from work. He always tells me if I need to get out, like he can see when I'm overwhelmed or like Godzilla when he comes home and I'm like yelling and irritated <clears throat> because I just have to clean and clean and cook and and that's what it that's what happens when you're a mom yes i know that that's what happens when you're a mom but it is hard and it is stressful and it it, it does it's a lot so it's okay to have these feelings you know because <clears throat> i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh well then you should have thought of that before this and that and whatever yes okay we're allowed to feel certain things and we're allowed to talk about it it's not a bad thing <clears throat> but Anyways, he does tell me to, to leave, to go do something by myself. And honestly, I wish that I could. But, um, I mean, I can if I really wanted to. But 
I have really bad anxiety. I have horrible anxiety. And um, this started happening to me after I had my son in um, 2021, a few months after I had him. Um, I had horrible panic attacks and I had really bad anxiety to the point where I can't stay in certain places or I can't be out like around a lot of people because it's just like, like I can go to theme parks and stuff like that um, when I'm just around like really close people. But like if I'm even in a room like with, um with a lot a lot of people and it's just like a lot of things are going on and there's a lot of yelling and screaming it starts making me feel like kind of panicky and not even just that because it's happened to me at the time at other places too like when i've been at the grocery store or um even when i'm gonna go pick up my daughter and i'm waiting in the car right before i get off because i walk a little ways to like where i have to go and get her so i park the car like in this little um uh, neighborhood and then I walk to across the street to her school to get her and sometimes before that I start feeling that feeling it's just a feeling that I don't even know how to explain it in the right words um, I will feel super dizzy like really really dizzy in my head and I feel like I'm gonna I feel really nauseous uh, my stomach feels really like tight and um, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke and it's the worst feeling because I'm like, how am I gonna do this while I'm like, you know, I have to go get my daughter and I'm gonna puke on my way to get her. It's just so many things like this or I'm gonna faint. Not that that's ever happened to me, but it's that feeling of cloudiness in my head and I'll just feel so dizzy. Like it's, I've had to leave, um, places because of this feeling and um even my uh my sister-in-law's wedding i was a bridesmaid in her wedding and um i felt so bad because um the day of the wedding uh we did the ceremony and everything and we left to go take pictures after we had came back to the wedding um i had a few drinks and the kids were all playing everybody was happy there was music and out of nowhere, this was like the first time that this had happened to me. And, or I would say the second time. It was the second time it had happened to me. And um, I was talking to um, one of my boyfriend's cousins, uh, his wife. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, like it just, this ugly feeling in my stomach. And, um... I just had to get out of there. Like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like crying. I felt, I felt so horrible that I ended up, I tell my boyfriend like, hey, I'm feeling like really bad. Like I hadn't told him yet exactly like what was happening with me. He knew just a very little that I would get like very like panicky, but I never told him the severity of how bad I would feel. Uh, so I told him, I was like, hey, I'm feeling like really bad. And, and he's like, it's okay. I'm here to help you. Like, I'm here to help you with the kids and stuff. But I was like, it's not the kids. Like, it, I was like, I'm just going to go. He wasn't understanding and I couldn't really explain to him because of where we were at. And he was with family and I didn't want to like be the party pooper and be like, hey, we need to go. So I just, I, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the car real quick to see if my sweater is in there. But in my head, I was like, I'm gonna go get out of here because I feel like I'm gonna faint in here and I don't wanna make a fool out of myself in front of his entire family. So I, I that's what I said. And he was there with the kids and um, my intentions were to go to the car and take a breath or step outside in the car where it was quiet, nobody was around and just breathe. But as soon as I got to the car, I got in the car and I was like, no, I'm going home, I'm going home. I literally left, I came home and um, I didn't tell him, I left my kids and him at the wedding and um, they didn't even know that I left. And I came home and I was crying and 
Um, and my, and Athena, our dog, she was here and she was like, she came close to me and I was just hugging her crying. And I was like, maybe it's the clothes that I'm wearing that um, I need to like take this tight dress off. And, and I took things off and I put on sweats and a sweatshirt and I was like, okay. I was like, my plan was like, come calm down at least, maybe change, put something comfortable and then go back and, and pretend everything's cool. Well, no, after I changed, I was like, there's no way I'm going to go back there and like, and, and do all that. So I did, um, my daughter called me, my eldest daughter, and she's like, mom, where are you at? And I was like, oh, I came to the house to get you, uh, some comfortable shoes. Cause she, her shoes were bothering her. She was wearing like little heels. They were hurting her feet. She was a, a ring bear for, uh, his sister's wedding. So I just told her that I came home to get her some shoes and I was going to go back and she's like, oh, okay. So I grabbed her shoes and, um, I went back and then my boyfriend calls me and he's like, where are you at? Why'd you leave? And I'm like telling him like now on the phone, I'm telling him what happened to me. And, um, and he's just like upset at me because I left and, um, like emotional I started crying because I'm like I'm telling you like what's been happening to me like I'm not doing this for attention I'm not doing this because I wanted to ruin things I'm doing this because this is the only thing that I felt could help me was to get out of here and this is how I'm feeling that's what happened that day I told him and then finally I got there and um and uh he was really upset with me and I just ended up calling Alvy and I was like, hey, um, I'm here. But I guess they were already outside and he was going to leave too with the kids because we had gone in separate cars because he was uh, <clears throat> one of the, uh, what is it called? The groomsmen? He, I was a bridesmaid and he was a groomsman. And <clears throat> so we had gone in separate cars because we all got there separate times. So um, he was already mad and he had the kids and he was going to leave also, just come home. But I told him, I was like, I don't want you to leave your sister's wedding. Like, uh, let me just go because I'm feeling this way. But it's important for you to at least be there because it's your sister's wedding and your whole family's here. And I don't want you to leave because of what's happening to me. But after telling him all of that, he just, there was no like, like, um, like okay yeah he was more upset at me so i felt really bad because of that but um so anyways um i got there and i took the kids ended up coming with me or just elvira and he took brady and maddie in the truck and uh, we came back home and i was just telling him you know like when we got here, what had happened again, and I was now upset with him because <clears throat> he was just not understanding. <clears throat> I was upset at that. So it, that's what's happened with my anxiety. And um, it still happens. Like, I was like, okay, maybe it's just something that's happening now. But now my son, he was... Uh, he was one at the time. Now he's three. And it still happens to me. Like, even the Disney trip, if you saw the video where we went to Disneyland um, with my whole family, <clears throat> in that morning, that morning, I had another one. That's why we had left the night before also to not drive too far early in the morning. But we also left because I thought if we got a hotel there in Anaheim, um, and I woke up early, I wouldn't have these little panic attacks because the last time that we went to Disneyland, we left from here in the desert, uh, really early to drive over to Anaheim. So, um, and I was so sick that morning, like sick and nauseous. And I had the worst panic attacks and just like <clears throat> feeling horrible. Yeah. It's been my mom on my shirt. Let me see. I mean, on my shorts. Okay, don't be spilling it anymore. It's just a little bit. Oh, 
Yeah. So, anyways, that that was my plan. Yeah, it's just a little bit. <clears throat> so that's why I did that leaving to get a hotel in the morning. We went to Disneyland this last time with my whole family. But I, everything was cool when we left. But the next morning, I still got the panic attack when we woke up super early. I felt horrible. Like, um, I got sick. I was... I didn't even like really do my makeup like when we went to Disneyland like I, I like to get dressed and look nice like when we go out to do something I didn't even do that because of how I was feeling we have stopped by at IHOP to get some breakfast before we went into the park and um it was I just felt sick I didn't even eat the I think I I usually have like a coffee with my breakfast and all that I got was like an orange juice and I had one little sip of it and um, it was Wait, disgusting. Like it tasted Where disgusting to me. I know that the orange Where juice wasn't know? disgusting from IHOP, but to me at the moment, it tasted gross. Like I couldn't drink or eat anything. And then also uh, when that happens to me, my mouth gets so dry, dry, like super dry. And I'm so thirsty and I'll drink water but the water will taste so gross to me. It's like, what can I do during this situation that decided to come at the best of times? So I know that I need to make a move and I need to go back to the doctors and tell him like, look, this is what's happening to me. But anyways, I'm just telling you guys this situation that happens to me. I wanted to talk to you guys. I really don't have like anybody that I can talk to about certain things. Like I can talk to my sister. Um, she lives in Nebraska though. About and she understands because she has the same thing too. But um, like to talk to other people about it, it's it's something that sounds crazy to them, and or it's something that sounds like I have a problem and. Oh, she's just crazy. Or like they give each other these eyes like and I, it's just like that's why I don't like to talk about it because it's just something that a lot of people don't understand. Or it's um but anyways, if you have this feeling or if you're struggling with it too, I want you to know that it's not just you that it happens to. Um, and I've also like looked up things and a lot of people actually have this and struggle with it and um, I don't know like I, I need to do something about it and then there's like these um, these things that uh, one of my sisters found also on Amazon and they're like stress relief um, like medicine but they're like um, all natural I don't know she says it helps her with like anxiety and stuff but anyways I've been looking for a job now and um now I'm just like like I feel like me not working these five months has actually made it worse because now when I I'm out somewhere like to get a job or I'm just like oh my gosh like what if I get a panic attack right now like now it's even more in my head like, what if it happens to me now? What if it happens to me while I'm in a job interview? What if it happens to me while I'm at work and I can't leave? Like, like, it just sucks. Like, it really sucks to have this feeling. So, I need to go and see the doctor again and, and talk to him and tell him what's happening still. Hopefully get some help. But this helps me. Like right now that I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you guys, for those of you who are watching, if I haven't bored you to death, and if you are somebody that struggles with this and you're watching it, like uh, comment below how you feel or maybe comment below and let me know what it is that you do that helps you um, and you have three kids that you're always with or kind of the same situation with me maybe I can follow your tips also and it'll help me but anyways um we're gonna take things one day at a time <laughs> but um I want you guys to have a beautiful day I'm gonna try my best to have a beautiful day and get things done here at home because no matter what, these kids need a mom 
and um, they need a stable environment, healthy environment. So that I do, I do make sure that I, I do here at home, at least do activities with them, um, help them learn things and, and uh, talk to them, play with them. That is, is a must for me and having this house clean that I need to do. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. If um, you guys have any uh, positive um, tips or feedback or any stories that happened to you, go ahead and, and comment them below. And um, thank you so much for, for sticking with me through this whole video, if you did. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And um, hit that little bell notification. And um, let's talk together. Bye.